to the last preseason game. Mike, you've spent 24 years in front offices around the league with all 32 teams playing in this game tonight, the final one. Can you give the example with an actual <laughs> NFL player <laughs> sitting right one. here between us? But that means a lot to me. I Mike, uh, I remember uh, covering a team once and a, a coach had told me that he didn't want to play a guy in his team that he wanted to keep on his practice squad. Because um, and like I said, if you have 10 for your practice squad, you have about 53. So, Dan, let's start with you, our star uh, player over here. Uh, Carlos <laughs> Hyde in Kansas City. What are we hearing about him? James Devlin at fullback. That's a really deep room. Rex Burkhead's a really good player of taking nothing away from him, but he could be the odd man out. Could get traded. I mean, when you have that type of surplus, I always said that to me, New England has the deepest backfield in, in, in the league. When you have a surplus like that, you know, those are prime. That's prime. Former first round picks. Again, we're just looking at, you know, situations where something, the, I think Chad Beebe is probably the front runner for the number three wide receiver spot, could mean that Laquan Treadwell moves on. So we mentioned the Miami Dolphins quarterback situation there, but there's, there's some other quarterback competitions and neither quarterbacks question marks on some rosters. Mike, are you paying attention to anyone, any others? Yeah, first one is New England. You know, Jared Stidham, the rookie from Auburn, has played very well. And then when you also even read the words that he said, you kind of initially, I think we all go, yeah, okay. Like, you're like what, what are you hiding here? But, but is there maybe something to this? Mike, have you heard? You really ask the former player, you buying Jimmy here? Listen, for a guy with a limited body of work, I'm skeptical, you know, skeptical about, you know, I'm just going to just throw. actual serious discussions yes. being had that we may never see preseason again in terms of games. What, what, what the expansion of the season has become a more important priority for the owners than people thought it was going to be at the outset of these talks. And hand in hand with that, they, they try and they say, well, we'll cut back on preseason games. We can expand the regular. They could shrink the preseason if they wanted to without expanding the season. They just don't want to give back give the money yeah um, that they make. Mike we went through your checklist before as a GM of all the things that you're looking for to come up with this 53 man roster but of those things it seems like you are would it make a GM's job difficult if you got rid of preseason games well like game two years ago between the Jags and the Patriots and they had joint practices together in the summertime. Mm. And the one thing that the Patriots defense actually revealed to me in post game was that they watched the tape from that practice in the summer and it was able, it, it helped mm. them get ready for the Jags. Even though it was a summer and it was months ago, they were able to go back to see what thing. So that's the risk you're taking. But if it means. Yeah, that's on the Jaguars for looking the same in January <laughs> as they did in August, right? That, should, that shouldn't that, happen. That is a very, very good point, Dan. We do uh, end that segment perfectly. Uh, all right, guys, <laughs> uh, still to come on NFL Live, we are celebrating 100 years of the NFL. Uh, Damian Woody, Mike Tannenbaum here with us. I'm Diane Rossini. One week, guys. Just oh. Seven days. Don't you feel like this is the longest offseason? I feel like we say that every <laughs> year, but it feels like antsy. You know, there's so many questions or that we need to address, so many stories that we have to get to, and probably the biggest one is down in Dallas, dealing with running back Ezekiel. String together all the Jerry Jones sound bites over the last few months. We could put together like a small Lifetime movie there, all, all the drama. Uh, so, so here we are, just a week out, Dan. Where are we at with Ezekiel Elliott's contract compared to... Say,